Good morning, folks. This is Dr. Brooks. I want to talk to you guys this morning about the amazing prickly pear. The prickly pear is a type of edible cactus fruit. This sweet and delicious food offers a slew of health benefits. It has long been used in Mexican cuisine, and it's growing in popularity in the American Southwest and beyond. Many parts of the plant are edible, and prickly pear fruit can be used to make juices, jams, and a host of super tasty dishes. In addition to its culinary uses, prickly pear has an impressive nu nutritional profile and can be used to help promote health and protect against certain diseases. For example, prickly pear cactus is great for treating diabetes, high cholesterol, and even obesity. Prickly pear also has some pretty impressive antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties too. The magnesium, potassium, and calcium in prickly pears are key nutrients for healthy blood pressure while vitamin C plays an important role in immune system health. Prickly pears also contain, contain many beneficial plant compounds, including phenolic acids, flavonoids, and pigments, which act as antioxidants. Due to the many beneficial plant compounds and nutrients it contains, prickly pear has been used in Mexican folk medicine to treat ulcers, liver conditions, and other health issues. The potential medicinal properties of this cactus fruit continue to be explored. The prickly pear cactus has wide, flat, green pads or paddles that are commonly referred, referred to as nopales. Nopales are edible and served in Mexican egg dishes, salads, tacos, and soups. They're fairly crunchy, but can have a slimy texture depending on how they're prepared. The taste of nopales has been described as vegetal, slightly tart, and citrus-like. The small oval fruit that grows on top of the nopales is the prickly pear, also known as tuna. It varies in color and can be green, pink, red, purple, or yellowish orange. The flesh of the prickly pears is juicy and contains seeds and has a sweet taste similar to that of watermelon. You can eat prickly pear fresh, raw, or cooked. And like I've seen, it's often turned into juice or cooked down into jams. Prickly pear flowers are also edible. As the name suggests, prickly pear fruit and pads have prickles on their exterior, known as glow kids. They can stick to your hands and be pretty painful. Glow kids need to be removed before consuming prickly pear. Since it mainly grows in desert environments, prickly pear is very common in Mexico and the American Southwest. In fact, prickly pear cactus is the state plant of Texas. It is also grown in Italy and other parts of the Mediterranean. You can find prickly pear fruits and nopales at markets and grocery stores in these areas. They may also be imported to grocery stores in other locations, particularly Mexican food markets and grocery chains that carry unique fruits or ingredients. So keep on the lookout for the amazing prickly pear cactus. It's a medical dynamo. That's all I have for you guys this morning, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.